Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Why am I in a laundromat? Because today we're going to be talking about how we do our laundry while we're traveling. I personally just went and took a shower so I'm nice and clean, but now we have to tackle this. Now in order to wash my clothes whenever I'm traveling, I simply do a Google search and find the closest coin operated laundromat near me. Then I drive across town and well, here we are. Now let's talk about what I carry in my little laundry tote here. I actually keep quarters in a little snack size bag, so I keep several dollars worth of those. I also keep Tide Pods. I have my fabric softener sheets, and then I have my actual fabric softener. And by putting them in these little snack bags, instead of keeping them in their original case, I can put enough in here to actually do numerous loads of laundry, as you can see which is super handy for saving space in the van. So we have about 37 minutes to go here and then we're gonna move over to this side to the dryers and I don't know how long that's gonna take. But three loads, that has gotten me through about three and a half weeks. Now I do pack more clothes than most people whenever traveling, but at the same time, I don't like to have zero days like this because to me, laundry day is kind of a wasted day. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough to go for a while and uh, well, we're getting kind of to bare bones. Okay, now we're off to the dryers and then I'm going to fold and I can't wait because I get to use my t-shirt folder. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, this one is finished, but I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and take these out to the van. Okay, after everything is all folded nicely, I put it back into the little bins and I do have a packing cube for socks and underwear. Then in my pants one, I actually have another one that has bathing suits and shorts. So it keeps it all nice and organized. Now, for some reason, and I'm not sure why, it's a little taller. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually do one double folded shirt right there and then one more double folded shirt right here and that will make everything fit perfectly under the bed and just my special tip if you use a laundry bag like this which i do actually recommend make sure that whenever you're doing your laundry just throw this in also that way whenever you're bringing all your clothes back out to your van to put up you actually have a clean bag today i did that and it just smells so much better already. That keeps all of the weird smells out of your van also by doing it this way. And it just keeps everything so much easier for the next laundry day. And then last but not least, when it comes to laundry, I always keep on hand some fabric for breeze. Now I do this for a variety of different reasons. I live in a tiny space, so I never want it to smell bad. So every single morning when I wake up, just a little bit, just to keep everything nice and fresh. But also whenever I do my laundry, I spray my bag with this anytime I put other clothes in it. That way, if I've been out and I'm in the elements like right now, and I'm out hiking and doing all sorts of things that make me kind of gross, I'm then putting those clothes into a bag into my small space. Naturally, that's not gonna be the most appealing thing. So what I do instead is I either spray the clothes directly and then put them in the bag, or I just spray the bag really good. And no, this does not cause mildew and mold. This stuff basically goes out and evaporates as it's releasing the good smell. I've never had a problem with this. It's amazing. So uh, invest in this. It's super simple and super inexpensive. 
Okay, so I showed you my t-shirt bin and then I also have one for my pants. But what about my pajamas? I have several different pairs of pajamas because I like to rotate them every few days so that I'm not wearing dirty clothes. <laughs> and what I do is I actually leave these separate and then I use this pillow here, which is my spare pillow, and I tuck them inside of the pillow case. Now, why do I do that? Well, the reason why I do that is because I would like to have my pajamas separate for accessibility. I don't want to have to reach under the bed every single time that I'm ready to go to bed. I just want to be able to pull these out, get dressed, and go to bed. It's just a good feeling to have that accessibility. So what I do is I actually just put these right inside here. And then this pillow itself is used as like a back prop whenever I'm using my back door here as my office space. Or sometimes if I'm having a little bit of back issues, I can actually use this and prop up my knee so it more thoroughly aligns my back. So I have function within each piece that I bring with me, but this makes a great place to put my pajamas. Now, typically whenever I'm traveling, I try to find a laundromat along the way just as I can. And that might be a weekend, that might be two weeks in. It just kind of depends on what's going on and where I happen to be. One of the things that I always think though is I wanna make sure I feel comfortable here. If I don't feel comfortable, I don't stop. And if I stop and it kind of looks like they have a lot of machines broken down or like there might be an issue with the money, I, I don't do my laundry there either. So those are kind of my tips for you guys is look for things that that make you feel safe and that also look super functional. A lot of times whenever you're in larger communities there's a lot more options but in the little more sparse areas it's a tiny bit harder to find sometimes so kind of keep your eyes out, keep your google fingers going and remember I can go about three and a half weeks without having to do laundry but can you? Planning according to how many things that you have available is also important so know how many things that you have still left to wear and kind of go from there. Now mind you, I don't really like to wait the full three and a half weeks to do my laundry. However, I know that I can budget my time accordingly if I do know that. So it's kind of nice to know that if you're going to be in a single area and you're going to be there a few days, you could say, huh, I still have like four pairs of pants and three shirts. Sure, I can make it work. Anyway guys, with that said, thank you for coming along with me today to find out how I do my laundry while I'm on the road and also how I organize it whenever I do get back into the van. This is a wonderful way for you guys at home who might be a little curious about van life to kind of get a sneak peek into what really happens. And for you all who are on the road, that t-shirt thing, get it. Just get it and trust me on this. Again, if you didn't see my initial video when I introduced it, I saw it on Van City Van Life. It is amazing. And as you can see, it makes everything fit so much better. I mean, I can literally have a whole three and a half weeks worth of shirts stacked into one bin. Wow. Just wow. Anyway, till next time, guys. Bye.